Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got China Glazes Ruby Pumps, and I'm going to put some white stripes on them. Here is the beautiful first coat of China Glaze Ruby Pumps. I don't wear red hardly ever. It's just not a color I gravitate to. But this polish right here is one of my all-time favorites. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you probably know this. I'm not telling you something you don't know. I've gone through four bottles. I'm not, I'm not talking minis or deluxe minis. We're talking full-size, regular bottles of China Glaze Ruby Pumps. I love this. I don't know what it is, but something about this polish speaks to me, sings to me, and dances in my direction. I love it. So here we go with our second coat of Ruby Pumps. And it just, it's got a great formula and the sparkle and shine looks just like Dorothy's Ruby Pumps from Wizard of Oz. And it is one of my favorite Christmas colors every year to use. Here we go. We are going to, we've already done a little bit of cleanup. I didn't get too messy with it. But we're going to put some top coat on this and I'm going to let it completely dry and then we're going to do some stamping. And I will warn you, today's stamping did not turn out like I had envisioned it. <laughs> but needless to say, I ended up wearing this manicure for four or five days, which is kind of a record for me. So, hey, Woody, what's up? Woody had to jump out here and say hello. Hi, how's everybody doing? So there we go. Look at that. Oh, my. Oh, I love it. Okay. Here we go with Beauty Big Bang 15. You guys know I'm eat up with these plates this year. I'm be using my clear jelly scraper, and there's the Nicole Diary NS01. It's just the white stamping polish, and today's stamper is just that big clear blingy stamper I got from Born Pretty. And here we are. I'm just going to use this little stripe image down on the bottom. And as always, I probably should have only done a few nails or a couple of nails. No, I had to do them all. There we go. It really doesn't look bad from a distance, but when you got up on it, you know, with the curve of my nail, you know, those little stripes got a little squiggly and squirrely looking. But you know, nobody looks at them as close as I do, so it probably looked pretty good to everybody else. And I did love seeing that ruby pumps jump out from underneath those stripes. And in between, I am cleaning that plate off with just some pure acetone and a cotton ball. And use my handy dandy cotton claw. But I just kind of wanted to do something a little basic and simple today. See, there you go. You can see a little bit of wonkiness on that. But it's all good, right? It's all good. Here we go. Plop that right on there. Now that one turned out almost perfect. Yay. So I am going to do a little bit of cleanup here with my tape as I normally try to do. Sometimes it totally works and sometimes not so much, but we always give it a shot. Um, it means that the acetone is not on my fingertips as much, which means less, less aggravating that skin. I'm going to be doing some cleanup with my Sunny Kushak Tools number 27 brush and some pure acetone and that little blue dampen dish. Um, I got that from 88 Beauty on my last order when I got those nail wheels. I could not resist that little blue dampen dish. It just called my name and they're not expensive so I just tossed one into my basket. So there we go. All striped up and now we're going to add some top coat to this and it'll be done and pretty. I love ruby pumps, even with me trying to cover it all up. Look, it's still shining through there. That's just how amazing it is. So there we go, gonna cap that in. So I hope you enjoyed this one, I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment down below. I always love reading your comments and chatting with you. Here's my swatch photo. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.